Howdy, I'm Eric Benson. I'm the city manager of the great city of Enid, Oklahoma. We use three words to describe our community. Boundless, vibrant, and original. Those three words also are used to describe our relationship with Vance Air Force Base, one of our most important and strategic partners in our community. As a matter of fact, we employ a large number of those spouses from Vance Air Force Base as key employees of the city of Enid. You're going to get a chance to meet and listen to some of those, and I hope you enjoy this interview. Thank you, Eric, and, and welcome again to a program where we get to feature the various departments within the city of Enid, but today we get to feature uh, two employees that work for the city of Enid. To my left, the young lady is Lashana Blodgett, who I remember from the early days about a year ago. You joined the city of Enid, is that correct? That is correct. And then Christina Mosier. Christina, you've been here just a few months, correct? That is correct, since right. February. Can you tell us, Christina, what do you do for the city of Enid? Well, I do public relations and marketing for the city of Enid, and every day is different. I get to do interviews with city commissioners. I get to set up the newsletters that go in the water bills for all the citizens, and um, I also get to help uh, manage the Facebook page and various other things like that. So. One of the common ingredients between both of these employees are they are a spouse of uh, with their husbands at Vance Air Force Base. And so that's one of the features that we're talking about today is that relationship between Vance and also the spouses that work for the city of Enid. Now, I know, LaShawna, that your husband, he's, he's in pilot training. But tell us about what you do here at the city of Enid. Well, Steve, I'm the city manager's executive assistant um, here with the city. And... So basically, my I do a lot of different tasks within administration, but the main, I guess the main responsibility for me is to um, assemble and edit the agenda for the city council meetings. Um, I also keep um, the city manager's calendar, time card. Um, I make travel arrangements um, for all of the city council members, set up meetings and conferences. So I basically my desk is a hub for communication between the City of Enid administration staff and the City Council members here within the City of Enid. You and I have kind of a, a unique relationship because when you first joined the staff at City of Enid, you were working in the public relations and the marketing department. Now you moved on to be the you know assistant to City Manager Eric Benson. Tell us a little bit about, did you envision that much of an opportunity when you came to the city of Enid, did you think you were just going to stay in one position or did you think there may be more opportunities for me to do other things? Well, at first, I just really wasn't sure, you know, um, when you when you first start out somewhere, you know, you you get on board and, you know, you learn your new job. Um, but then whenever I came on board, I realized, wow, there are a lot of um, growth and development opportunities here within the city. And so this other role just happened to open up and um, I had a blast, you know, working for you and working in public relations, but I'm also just very thankful for um, this other role and um, just getting, you know, additional um, skills and just learning and being exposed to city government and on more of a wide scope. If I recap, it was very fun working for me. Now it's very serious working for Eric Benson, right? You know, it, it's, you know, there's, there's, there was it was a lot of fun you know um getting out i got out a little bit more you know in the pr role but even working with the city council members and mr benson i'm still out and about you know um, arranging lunch meetings and still working with prominent folks within the community so i still get get that aspect so it still is you know fun. christina i know you're a virginia tech graduate i am go Hokies. okay thank you <laughs> thank you for that commercial <laughs> And I know that your husband trains other pilots. So what attracted you to, say, work for the city of Enid? Well, I've always loved um, the city government, and I really like Enid, and, I, and it was just a good way for me to get involved. And when I saw that it was public relations and marketing, um, I really couldn't resist, because that's something that I've always wanted to do, and um, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity, and the fact that I was able to, you know, get an interview and come to work here. It's been it's been so fabulous that, so. Tell us what has been one of the um, biggest uh, surprises working for the city of Enid, without putting you on the spot. <laughs> has, has there been a surprise? I think the biggest surprise um, is 
I, I knew I was going to learn a lot, but I didn't realize how much more I learned than I thought I would learn. <laughs> that, I didn't say that very well, but I've learned so much more than I thought I would learn. And um, it's been it's been awesome. I, I, I never thought I would be able to do interviews and um, learn how to use a, a really high tech camera and or use Adobe InDesign and design these beautiful um, pamphlets for the city. And it's been it's been great. One of the unique relationships that we have here in the city of Enid is the opportunity to partner with Vance Air Force Base on, on so many things. Well, Shauna, when you came to the city of Enid a year or so ago, and I saw the qualifications and the credentials that you had, they were very unique. But what special, and, and speak in general, if you would, to this for, for the Vance uh, spouses, what unique characteristics or qualifications does a Vance spouse bring to the uh, corporate table, if you will? Well, personally, I just think that a military spouse um, brings a fresh perspective um, because there's a diverse skill set there of knowledge, skills, and abilities. They've pretty much traveled um, around the world, and so they're, you know, they're very moldable. Um, they're people-oriented, and they're really able to adapt and, you know, in a changing environment. And so I think that is just a wonderful um, asset for anyone to have. So, Christina, we're well aware that a variety of individuals from across the United States watch these videos that we do when we highlight employees within the city of Enid uh, via YouTube or our website. And so there, there's potentially a spouse, uh, advance, or even from another Air Force base that is, is watching this video. So what words of advice would you offer a spouse to say, you know, I'm only going to be here for a few months, but I, I have skills and, and the desire to contribute to an organization. What advice would you offer them about getting involved with, say, the city of Enid? When you first come to Vance, you don't know how long you're going to be here. You could be here six months. You could be here five years. Um, but I suggest my advice is to use this time wisely. Take the time to come get a job. And with the city of Enid, that's possible. Sometimes you go somewhere and people aren't going to give you a job, but here they will. Here they're going to give you a job, and you will learn so much in this time. It's definitely worth it to come out and, and work. So, One of the things that we've learned under the leadership of Eric Benson is his desire to surround himself with the best people. And his mindset, if you're here with me for two months or for two years or 20 years, if you're the best person for that opportunity, I want you on my team. So I think that's what he brings to the conversation. doesn't matter how long you're going to be in town, but if you are the right person for that, he wants you a part of that team. Absolutely. Well, Shauna, let me ask you that this. As, as Christina mentioned, you don't know if you're here for two months or 20 years, but if a spouse works for just a few months, is it worth that experience, do you think, for that individual to work for the city of Enid, even if they're only going to work three months? Is it worth it? I would say absolutely, Steve. Um, I would say carpe diem, seize the moment. Um, I've only been here for a year, and I know that I'm going to be, you know, moving on real soon because my husband will be, you know, graduating from the pilot training but in my short year here um, I have learned so much I've gained a just a solid foundation um, learned a wide variety and scope of city government I've gotten to interact with the mayor and the commissioners and city manager and just wonderful folks within the community it's been a wonderful and tremendous opportunity I would say go for it and enjoy that opportunity um, Mr. Benson really um, takes great pride in hiring military spouses and so I just I think that um, just seizing that opportunity because you will be valued and that is huge. Christina let me put you on the spot with the final question uh, what do you hope to achieve or gain from the experience of being here with the city of Enid and selfishly that's okay to have this selfish this is what I want from that experience and what would that be? <laughs> There's Oh, gosh, that's a that's a loaded question. Um, For me? <laughs> no, I I just really want to learn everything that I can. Um, I that is so big for me. I I want to become really good at this job, and I want to become an important part of the team. I don't want to be able to you know just leave and then you guys don't even notice. I want to 
I want to be important. I want to, you know, gain some, some really good experience. And um, I want to learn a lot and be able to bring that to where I move next. I think we all can relate to that and we all want to leave our mark and we also want to uh, make a difference and we want to be significant in what we do so that we are missed a little bit when we leave. So, well, thank you both for joining me today. I know you have both very hectic schedules. Thank you for sharing your expertise and also the word of encouragement that you are offering to a, uh, you know, a spouse advance in regard to that. And thank you for joining us on today's program. And I look forward to sharing another story with you, highlighting more City of Enid employees. Until that time, make it a great day. Hello again, I'm Eric Benson, and I hope you enjoyed these interviews. To learn a lot more about the City of Enid, please go to our website. Thank you very much.